okay in our previous uh, video we saw the first part of the uh, proposition 26 that is this part now let's look at this part the difference being let's say we have two triangles okay okay these are the two triangles a b c d E, F and two angles are equal to two angles. So let's say angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F. Now in the previous uh, video where we looked at this part, the side was between the equal angles this and this were equal we as we saw but now let's look at not the sides not the side between the angles but one of the other sides given is triangle abc and triangle def angle abc is equal to angle D E F angle B C A is equal to angle E F D and A B is equal to D A B is equal to D we have to prove that a C is equal to A not A D F D F B C is equal to E F and angle B A C is equal to angle E D F or in other words triangle A B C is congruent to triangle D E F this is what we have to prove okay let's see let bc not equal to ef right which means one of them has to be greater so let bc be greater than ef now let's say bh where h is a point on bc such that we achieve equality right so we have a point on h a uh, point on bc we name it as h and we join this so now here bh is equal to ef and join a and h we know bh is equal to ef we are given that ab is equal to de and abc is equal to angle def this is given AB is equal to DEF and AB equal to D. These both are given and this we have assumed. Now this implies that triangle ABH is congruent to triangle DEF. SAS. So therefore corresponding sides and angles are equal so which means angle bha 
is equal to EFD. But BHA equal to EFD is okay, but here we are also given that angle EFD is equal to angle PCA. It is given. Now EFD and EFD are common. So which means remember that things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. So angle BHA is equal to angle BCA. BHA is equal to BCA. Now obviously this is not possible. Now why is it not possible? Remember these are of two different lengths. So two different length sides cannot cannot subtend equal angle. We have already proved this. So therefore BC is not not equal to EF which was the assumption we started off with. BC is not equal to EF. So now we have reached a contradiction. So which means that negative statement is wrong. So which means BC is equal to EF. Similarly, we can prove that AC is equal to TF. Now again, which means angle BAC is equal to angle EDF SAS. So basically which means we have proved that these two triangles are congruent. So that is proposition 26 in two parts.